Steven comes in. Steven says, late round quarterback that you guys like. Matt, I'll let you answer this one. Michael, can Michael Pratt count? Is that like that's more mid round, I guess, than late yeah. round? Not first I guess round. So. It's it's probably closer to like, you know, he's the third round, fourth round, somewhere in that ballpark. I guess not a late round guy. I don't know. Is there someone later than that green bean that you've been kind of keeping an eye on that you'd, you'd look at? Joe Milton's going to be like way far down. <laughs> he may not even get drafted now after his senior bowl. Um, I guess if you like a freak athlete, that's high upside. I don't, I get the feeling and you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Let's say the jets go into the seat, like the, the free agency. We're getting a backup quarterback, whether it's a Tannehill, hopefully it's a Brissett. If it's a, you know, Minshew, whatever, some sort of stable backup quarterback. I don't get the feeling we're necessarily carrying a third quarterback into the season. Cause if you got to rely on quarterback three, you're probably asking that dude just to hand the ball off a bunch of times. I'm not so sure the jets are going to draft a quarterback this year in a year. They need all their draft picks to help them for this season. Although to be fair, last season, Will McDonald was not a need either. And I thought the same thing. So green bean, any sort of thoughts? Like, do you think the jets go quarterback late? Is there someone that you kind of like to, to sit behind these guys? Yeah, I think that there's a good chance. I'm not saying they're gonna yet, but I think there's a good chance. Plus, my little my information stream said that the Jets are looking at a quarterback uh mm. in the fourth round. The Jets have two fourth round picks, everybody. So it gives you that little bit of flexibility. If there's a guy that slides to the fourth that they have a higher grade on like maybe a guy who's injured and if he wasn't injured might have gone maybe a round or two rounds earlier that kind of a thing uh my uh my my information says that they would like to pull the trigger and have that guy behind Aaron Rodgers especially when we go and get like a Brissett or a Tannehill so you got to think about it you got Aaron Rodgers and Tannehill just as a, as a name you got two pretty good guys, right, that have been around a long time. They're vets. They know how to last in the league. And then you bring in a young buck that can learn behind them for a year, two years, whatever it might be. I think that is a good plan. As long as you're not, like, you know, foregoing the needs for a quarterback. Like, there are still – they're they're, they're, they're few and far – farther between than maybe a few weeks ago but there are still guys telling me you know what dude we need to go quarterback in the first round and i just i hang up i i i stop i delete i i block you know i'm like <laughs> stop you know but uh fourth round yeah like travis from far from florida state i i i would be fine with that so would i and actually to your point if you draft an injured player like jordan travis you're probably got a better shot at IRing him and not letting him use up a roster spot anyway. So it might not be the worst thing if he could stay around the facility and be next to Aaron Rodgers, but just not count towards the 53 man roster. Um, might not be a bad decision, Matt. Uh, what did you think about Jordan Travis? And would that be someone you'd sign on for? Jordan Travis is an interesting one. Um, I would toss him on that list. Spencer Rattler is growing on me a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, in that same similar tier, like at one point was more highly regarded. Rattler a little bit more due to performance, uh, where Travis due to injury. But there's, I think there's some upside there with those kinds of guys. So, uh, look, it's as we all know, you could take a quarterback third overall. It's still a dart throw. And when you get the later you go, the harder it is. But at that point, you're kind of just looking for a trait or some redeeming quality to latch onto. And I think for me, Pratt, Rattler, and Jordan Travis are the easier later quarterbacks that you could do that for. Like Sam Hartman, I don't know if he's really moving the needle for me. Like, I, mm -hmm. what are you falling in love with for, for Sam Hartman? He's like 40 years old already, as is, and doesn't really do anything well. He's kind of just existing yeah i don't get the he may not even like get drafted he might wind up being one of those guys that goes to like the ufl or like some other like alternate league to to be a guy i don't know apparently he's a good study but just does not have the uh the gumption to to be a quarterback i don't think 